Okay, you're Mr. Copeland. I'm Lily, how are you doing? Fine, so we're entering your, uh, your beautiful shop now on Capel Street. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, can you tell something about the history of this uh, business? Yeah, well, it was my grandfather came from Lithuania uh, in 1900, uh, and uh, he thought he was, uh, he was going to New York, but he ended up in Cork. Uh, and um, here we are now. Okay, so your grandfather was uh, the, uh, uh, in the uh, conviction that he would be shipped to New York, and he ended up yeah, in Cork. In Cork, yeah. So they got the names mixed up a little bit. And he started this business in Cork. He, he started off. No, he started. Then he came to Dublin. He was a tailor. He was a, a trouser maker, and uh, he went from there. And then he married a, 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 an Irish lady, Catholic, and um, they had two children, Louis and Rachel. And they they all became tailors and trouser makers. Okay, so this is a family business. It's a family business. It's 1908. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, how many people do you employ uh, now in this business? We have about four or five stores. We have about uh, about 60 people in all around the, around the country. 60 people. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is also a very big shop. I understand. This is like your main shop, eh? This of is the whole the, company. This is the the flagship. Let's say. Uh, it's in Cape Street. This is where my father started the business, so, and we're here. We're, here. we're in the flagship shop of the five shops in total? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The five shops in total. So this is like the center of the, of the business. Mm. Um, yeah, the, 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 the funny thing is that, of the funny thing is, the good thing is that we are now talking about the absolute top end of the Dublin market. Eh? This is, uh, this the, is the, the highest you can get if yeah, you want to. Yeah, probably the highest end. This is probably the, the probably the, well, dare I say, the best menswear store in, in the country. The best in the country, yeah. yeah okay, now this is a great Why honor. Why say that? Yeah. A great honor for us to be here. And uh, okay, well, I'm now very interested if you can show me some of your products uh, yeah, and tell I something mean, about like, it. What you you're know, specific, what, specific, you know, specifically proud of, of, of what would be. I mean, like the, you know, one of our casual shirts is Stenstrom, which is a very good Swedish brand, uh, very colourful, suit all ages. Um, it's it's plenty of it can be more casual or formal. Um, there's, there's the brochure there from Stens. That's Swedish. Swedish, yeah. Because what I understand is that you uh, um, uh, sell like pre uh, a prefabricated clothing, but also you have a tailoring uh, we also function. Tailor, but we, one of our main brand is is Canali. Canali is probably in my books probably the probably the best value for money. It's probably the best made garment in the world. Really? Okay. Yeah. Then we have Ted Baker, we have Hugo Boss, we have Gant. And you have your own brand also, right? We also have our own brand, yeah, which we manufacture. Uh, we get manufactured ourselves. We have the Barber range. We have um, Jacob Cohn jeans. Um, endless amount of labels. Very good. So, um, yeah, uh, because this is a top-end uh, store of Dublin, you have also had so quite some famous clients, because yeah, I can see it when I walk yeah, in, for I mean, instance, yeah, what you see I mean, here, for instance. Yeah. This is very nice. Can you tell yeah, us something we, about this? Yeah, it's Bill Clinton. We made a jacket for him uh, a number of years ago. Um, we, we have, um, you might notice, we, we, we also have a, a very famous short belong to J JFK. I mean, the short, uh, the short in this uh, um, thing is uh, belongs to JFK. Yeah, JFK, yeah. It was given to us as, as a, a present. Oh, really? By one of our customers, yeah. And it, what's she wearing in this picture? A Copeland uh, jacket? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, because no. okay. So, uh, and what we see here? Also, um, more famous yeah. people. Uh, you might, you know, you have a uh, lot of famous people. Dan Aykroyd. Who is this? Uh, Dan know. Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd, yeah. oh, of course, from the, uh, the from Blues the Brothers. Blue, Blues Brothers. Yeah. Okay. Brandon Gleeson, the fa famous Irish actor. Okay, and what more? Uh, Gray McDowell, fa famous golfer. Bono. Bono. Michael Caine. The man from The Sopranos, Frank Vincent. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, and, and uh, um, how would you describe your normal clientele, <laughs> apart from the famous well, persons? Most, yeah, <laughs> well, most of our customers would be, uh, we do a lot of uh, weddings, we do a lot of uh, business people, we have a lot of um, uh, business being done in, in the forecourts, uh, which is quite very close to us, so they all need suits, so that's a big part of our business. The forecourts? Yeah, you mean the judges and the, judges law and the solicitors? And, and the lawyers yeah, and the barristers, yeah. I mean, you you make also special clothing we for. We do, yeah. We do the gowns and, and oh, okay, supply oh, the really? wigs and things like that. Yeah. Also the wigs, you said. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? We supply them. We you don't make them. Oh, you supply, supply the wigs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't have to be the shop right now. No, eh? no, 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 no. Okay, that's very good. Okay, um, Louis. Well, it was a very exciting tour. Maybe we could close down by going to this wall because we started by, you know, telling something that you told something about the history of uh, of the business. And what, what do we see here? A lot of awards, I guess, or something. What is it? Like awards or prizes you won? Oh yeah, yeah. Some um, FHM Retailer of the Year, Best Men's Fashion RS, RSVP. Best Men's Fashion Store, uh, the Drapers Magazine Retailer of the Year. A, a lot of awards we've had done over the years. Okay, very good. My last question would be then, uh, Louis, uh, this is an independent business. Yeah. Uh, like uh, we said, uh, 60 people employed here. Yeah. How do you see the future in Ireland of businesses like you, independent, standalone businesses, uh, uh, in contrast to the big mega corporations, uh, yeah. which are also now just... Uh, uh, I think it's very important to have... Uh, independent retailers because I think the independent retailers the one thing they have is they can give the personal service and that's what people demand today is personal service okay this is these are very uh, good last words thank you very much thank Louise you.